And then I spot this. Oh my gosh, look at this lamp. They're little soldier guys like on a chessboard. Those are really cool and the shade is like a map. It is. Goodwill, <laughs> imagine that, with Rachel. She just got her Etsy store up and running. Now she's just gotta stock it up. So, I'm enticing her to go shopping with me because I like shopping with her. So we're gonna go into uh, one of my favorite Goodwills. It's way out in Henderson. And we are gonna see what we can find. And what, I stick with like a $20 rule. Rachel, what's your rule? I have a $20 rule. What's your rule? Okay. I don't know. She says she doesn't know. What? I guess she's going to have to figure it out as she starts buying and selling things, which is just something you got to do. All right. We're going to get in there and see what we can find. We are going to rescue this cart that's outside. Whoop, maybe. And uh, I like... I like grabbing a cart that's outside for two reasons. Number one, it's been disinfected by the sun. And number two, the more carts that we bring back to them, the more they're gonna keep letting us bring them out to the car. Alrighty, let's see what we have. We've got a little, little bunny candle holder, which will be a no. But this is interesting. Oh, I thought it was two pieces. No, it's a shade. I thought it was like a butter dish, but I got, I got fooled. I got fooled. Are you going to help me up? I'm down on the ground. Okay. Rachel's helping me up. It is nice to have her along. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is still running and how long it's been there. It was $16.99. It's $3.99. The Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. I always wanted to go on it, and I never did. Probably because I just chickened out. Because I'm a chicken that way. All right. What is this material called? What is this material? It's porcelain. That's really pretty. Is that what you spotted so far? Yeah. And I like the little hedgehog, but I'm going to leave him behind. More of those geishas. Ugh. I have so many of those I have to get rid of. What is the what do these say? These say Chadwick, Japan. They're little. What are these? Hmm. Okay, what would these have held? I don't know. I well they're $5.99, so are I'm not gonna get them. Rest? Are they are they a spoon rest? Well they're kind of the shape of a spoon. They're cute, but they're six bucks. I'm not gonna get them. Hey, Rachel, you need to read this. You need to read that. It's it's very true. We've got some belly. Oh, Missy, what did you find? Oh, look, yeah, somebody's got it for 99 cents. I think that's the same one. It looks like it, yep. Okay, she's still looking this up. We did peel the little sticker and it says forever in love. Little little doves. That is an egg. Oh, did you see the owl, Rachie? It's a cute owl. It's kind of big and bulky though and I've got a lot of owls right now. But then my eye caught these. They are just made in China and they are $3.99 each. And while I normally would have picked those up today, I'm not gonna do it. But I did find this weeping gold kind of uh, tidbit server tray. Now what's got me concerned is it's got a lot of wear to the gold along the edges and it is $9.99. So for those two reasons, I am gonna put it back. Had it been a little cheaper or in a little bit better condition, I probably would have picked that up. Look at this cute little girl. She's very fancy with her little fan. 
but she is resin. She's resin. Oh, look at these guys. Aww. These are cute. Is it, is it a musical? It's a heritage mint. It's only $4.99, yeah. Is it a musical? It is. You like that one too? Yeah. There you go. You're on a music box theme. And then we've got a little ballerina mouse. But I'm gonna leave her. Oh my gosh, look at this one back here. It's, it's a, like, it's the dancing duck or a yoga duck. Maybe it's a yoga duck. I don't know who makes that one. But... It's a ballerina duck. Oh, is that arm repaired? Yeah. Yep, okay. It looks like they go together, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like they go together. It looks like somebody did their little dancing um, collection donated because here's a pair of ballet shoes and there was another pair of ballet shoes up there also. Now these I am going to pick up. I'm going to hand those to you. Check them over for me. Make sure. Yeah. Show it to me. Very nice lampshades too. Alright. Did you see all the little things back up here that you're, uh, you're passing by? Like look, it's a little unicorn. Oh, you want to look at that one? Ah, that's really, really, oop, it's, cool, it's really it's heavy. Nice. These are a really pretty set of like Amari bowls, but I just don't know these marks and they're $4 each, so I'll leave them, leave them for somebody else. Oh, she's really pretty. She's fairly well done. I think she's vintage, but the thing, and then she's 10 bucks, but the thing with the, the Asian collectibles is those collectors want things that are like over 100 years old. Actually, 100 years old isn't even old enough. They want them for like, you know, 500 years old. That's the true good collectible. Oh, collectible Asian. Oh, <laughs> I just squirreled. These are Avon Cape Cod napkin rings, which is one of the things that sells really good in this pattern. And then I found me some glass peppers, some glass bell peppers. Let's see, how much are these? These are $6, so that's $3 each, and these are $7, so it's like two something each. Yeah, we're gonna pick them up. Okie dokie, we are on a roll. Rachel is picking up uh, carousel horse stuff. Looks like somebody donated their carousel horse collection. I'm just looking to see if this has a name on it, but it doesn't. She's got a couple of things going in her cart. Oh, it's kind of interesting and pretty. It's not priced though. Oh, and it's got a big chip. Darn it. I might have picked that up because it was very interesting. Interesting. Always a good thing. Unusual and interesting. All right. Oh, hello, spaghetti poodle, right in front of my face. See, Rachel is making one of the mistakes that happens, usually with people who are new to shopping and reselling, as you spend so much time looking things up on your phone, you miss things that are right in front of you, and then somebody else grabs them. But she's telling me that she's already realized that it's broken, and I see that too. I did okay. look at it. She did look at it. Okay, okay. I apologize then. I falsely accused you. But I do see people do that all the time. This is cute, but not $6 cute. So we are going to put that back. These are good if they're not for $6. Oh, it's good if it's not $6? What do they sell for? Like... 16 to 20. 16 to 20. But very smart that you know you can't pay six for it to sell it for 16 to 20. Good girl. All right, I want to see what this says. A best friend is a sister. Destiny forgot to give you. Oh, I never had a sister. I have a best friend though. How about the veggies? You want to pull the veggies out of there? I like veggies. Oh, they're. Are they? Ooh, they're the ceramic ones. Ooh, even better. You want to help me with your hands? Get those? 
support them. Let's get them out. I am digging me. Yeah, they've been hanging in a kitchen. They're fantastic. They're eight bucks, but they're totally worth it. This caught my eye. I just wanted to give it a look. Nope, it is not. It's not worth enough to sell. This looks like Mata Ortiz pottery and for 99 cents. So this is a pickup. Yes. Okay, I'm going to look at those in a second, but I am going to grab this a little pot and hope that there's actually an artist name underneath. But even if there isn't, I know this is Mata Ortiz. Rachel is over here juggling some more stone fruit. Oh, those are heavy. I think the color is green. I think the color is green, so those would only be a buck a piece. No, it's Sunday. Darn it. That was yesterday that they were a buck a piece. I don't I don't want to pay three dollars each for these in that condition. Darn it. Why was I thinking today was Saturday? It's not Saturday. Today is Sunday. These are really pretty, but again, they want four dollars each, so we are going to resist. Libraries of Wonder coaster set. Yeah, it says owl. Owl crate? We might have to open that up and look inside. While Rachel is doing that, I found another piece of really nice pottery back here. This is signed Tara Navajo. Oh, this is really nice. And I know it's 20 bucks, but I could just tell by the paint job it's done really well. I can feel that it is a hand turned piece. Um, I'm gonna take a chance on this for 20 bucks and pick it up. Okay, Rachel's got these opened up. What does that say? When in doubt, go to the library. Imagine a place, there's Blair, where the dead rest on shelves like books. Okay, that's different. Books spoke, books spoke mind to mind, soul to soul across the Abyss, time and, of time and distance. Okay, close yeah. enough. <laughs> Libraries full are were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. I do like those. They're dollar ninety nine. What do you think of those? Those are nice little vintage. They're not vintage, but they're vintage looking. I like them. All right, we're gonna get those. Spotted this little vintage. Oh, it's ceramic. I thought it was going to be plastic. It's got a thermometer. It's made in USA. It is a chalkware and it is $3.99. So we're going to pick that up. All right, now we're going to move these kind of out of the way here to get to these plates and see what these plates are that says seventh day, noble excellence, the 12 days. Oh, the six. Oh, it's the 12 days of Christmas, but there's not 12 plates in there. That's, there's only four of the 12 days of Christmas in there. Okay, you can put those back. We are not getting those. They're pretty, but I am gonna get that butterfly back there if it's not too much. It's like a brutalist art. It's very, very 1970s. I don't know what's going on here though. Oh, oh they're leaves. leaves, but those can be, mm, holy moly, somebody really crumpled those up. How much is it? Depends on the price. $3.99. You know what? We're going to go ahead and get it and we are going to doctor that up for $3.99. Ha ha. I see fake bread. I, saw fake I mean, bread. it's attached to the grapes, but I love me some fake bread. I got to get it. All right. Let's gander through the pottery pots here. I see birds. They get some really good stuff here. Oh, like, look, these are 1991. It says BPP, but it's a spongeware. Hmm, there's two of them. $3.99, that is not bad. I think, I think I'm gonna pick those up because they have a really nice look to them. So far, I am very pleased with what we are finding in this store today. I mean, that's a really good price for planners and I, and I only know that because I've been shopping planners for personal use. Oh. That's a shame. That's a shame. We have a whole bunch of cobalt blue, but nothing, nothing super exciting. 
see anything in here, Rachie, that kind of looks interesting? This is kind of weird. That is weird. It is weird. I don't know who does it, but, and it's $8. So it's weird, but it's not weird enough for me to spend $8 on. I think, is that a longer burger? Check if that's a longer burger. Uh-huh. Oh, it doesn't say. Sure looks like a longer burger pattern. But it's missing the underplate that probably would have had the longer burger part on it. And I still don't think it's worth like that much. Like leaving it behind isn't going to upset me too much. All right. I just, I'm not a big fan of those big tall vases. I certainly don't want to ship them. So I do leave those behind. The only thing those would fit is your peacock. Is that on velvet? What? Is that a velvet painting? It is, isn't it? It's a velvet painting. Okay, we're gonna have to get closer to that. Okay, it's 20 bucks. Uh, do I get it, do I get it, do I get it? It's really pretty, but it's really large. Yeah. But it's really pretty. Yeah. I might look up some comps and see what we're looking at. So she oh. is looking up this little doggy right now. And she's finding similar with some pretty good prices on them. But I don't think this guy is a gobel. That's the thing. Those, those are like gobels. This guy's not marked. But he is old. And he's pretty good quality. So I think you're pretty safe spending five bucks on him. All right, let's see what's in the little wood section. Now I love me some little wood things here. That's where I find so oh, what are you? You're kind of a big deal. With an elephant. What is that? Oh, it's, he's getting glitter everywhere. He's glittering. It was twenty dollars to begin with. And now he's three ninety nine. Gee, I like him. I like him too. You can get him. I can't because he breaks my twenty dollar rule, but you could probably sell him for 12 to 15 dollars you can even sell him down at the booth if you want that's what i thought see see i can get away from my 20 dollars rule by just making rachel buy it <laughs> is that is that evil is that evil of me these are like super vintage and cute but they have them all priced separately darn it they're all two dollars each I really like them though. Come on, I really, really like these. Were you wanting to keep them for yourself? No. That's the joy of this business. I can enjoy things for a while while I have them and then pass them on to somebody else. A two, four, three, three. It'll be $12. So. I like these. I have to get these. I like them. What is that supposed to be? Hey, I see an R. Who do we know's name starts with R? <gasps> Rachel! <laughs> this was for Gina's kitchen. If that hadn't had a name on it, that would have been really cute. I mean, it's really cute. You know what I mean. It would have been good for resale. It's a secret book. I love those secret books. I buy those secret books all the time, but not this time. Oh, that was loud. I'm skipping ahead of you because you're just clogging the aisle. You're just clogging the aisle. Oh, there's a little tiny Cinderella little thing there. I found watermelon, salt, and peppers. You did find watermelon, salt, and peppers. Those are super cute. Four bucks though, that's, that's a little hefty. And they've got little chips on them. That's a little hefty. I don't understand why this is open on the bottom. And then she found an N for Noah, who's actually trying to call me right now. All right. I found a triple egg. You found a what? Triple egg. A triple egg. Well, come over here and show me your triple egg. Oh, it's like a tin that has three. That's cute. From Newhouse. 
New Hat. Russell's you... 1857. Oh, it's a Russell's candy. Okay. I like. Is that good? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's pretty common. I like this though. But it's, it doesn't have any weight to it. That's why I am leaving it. What is this? Wait. This is like two things that don't go together. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That confused me. That confused me. Okay, so that was Noah calling me because he went go-karting. His dad took him go-karting while Rachel and I kind of drove this direction and we're gonna shop first. And he's now done go-karting and he wants his computer stuff that's in my car. So he wants me to hurry up and finish so he can have his computer stuff that's in my car. <laughs> you know, it's the important things. Okay. If I don't talk, I'm not gonna be able to use that footage I just did. So <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta start talking. Oh, look at the lemon cookie jar. See, this is what gets me. So they're getting ready for their red tag sale. You can see they took off the gray tag and replaced it with a red tag. Rachel, can you look at the bottom of that and see if it's got a name? Oh, it's got a dragonfly on it. I really do like this cookie jar. It is, oh, it's a Martha Stewart collection. Okay, we're gonna give that a look up and see if that is worth picking up. Okay, there's none available and there's no solds and I love that. So uh, I'm gonna pay 10 bucks for that because it is really adorable and it will sell. It will sell for good money. And I do, I do like this jar, but it looks, it needs quite a bit of cleanup inside. I'm trying to see what that schmush is inside here. Ooh. Oh, they had flour in there. <laughs> At least I hope it's flour. You know, you never know these days. Um, $4. I mean, that's a really nice jar for $4. I'm going to grab that. Look at this copper set. We've got the tea, we've got the cookies, and we've got the pasta. Six, ten, and six. Oh, and it's pretty dented up. And it's doesn't. it's not in good condition. Otherwise, I might be tempted with that. But condition-wise, I'm going to leave it behind. All right. What are you seeing over here? Oh, were you saying you think those are pretty modern? Oh, they yeah. almost look like hobbyist pieces. The way they're, the, you know, what you can kind of, hobbyist piece? it means it's like a kit that you paint and then you kind of fire it. Cause these bottoms normally are, that's indicative of a hobbyist piece. Why don't you turn over the teapot and see if it's got a name or something on the bottom. I'll move that so you can get it safely. It didn't have a name. It's, got nothing. So it's eight, three, and three. So it'd be, it'd be like $14 for the whole set. It's nice, good. but yeah, I don't think we should spend that much on it. All right, we have a pineapple bowl. It's a large pineapple bowl by Pacific Rim. It's $12.99. Dang. Okay. I'm just going to give it a look up and see if it's potentially something I should maybe not leave behind. All right. It's cool, but it's not that cool. I couldn't find any bowls sold, but there are other pieces listed for in the 20 to 25 range. So I don't want to spend $12.99 to sell something for 20. Are those bunnies back there? I see bunnies. Oh, let's get the bunnies out. They are, they're melamine. Melamine bunnies. So pretty, but not something I'm gonna grab today. That is a signed piece, kind of cool, but kind of just, just a piece, just a plain. Oh, look at, these are, um, that's Eeyore and Tigger. I don't, and Piglet, I don't, and Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if those are supposed to be those colors, but you know what? It's only a dollar. So we're gonna grab those. 
And then look at these little cutie patooties right below them. But again, $4. I could probably get about 10 for them. So I'm not going to spend that today where I probably would have in the past. Okay, these are apple and pear with the capiz shell on the inside. Now those are, those are different, but I'm gonna leave those also. You have to take over the cart and your mind. Oh, you can just park the cart there and you can go look at the mugs. She is on the mug duty right now. Can't see what that says. Just kind of look at some of these things. Oh, uh, that was, I don't know what that was. Something just came out of it. Oh, look, they actually put the little snack sets together here. That's very nice. Much better chance of it selling when they do that. Got Spongeware ducks down there. A little sweet lovin' from my oven. I don't know who makes those. Uh, let's see. We've got a little plate hand painted. It is a Limoges. It's JPL France Limoges. It is 99 cents. So yes, yes, we will pick up the Limoges plate. See what else we got over here. Lennox is like, like I said the other day. Oh, Butterfly Meadows though. That is a good Lennox. What did you got? And it's even got the lid to it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good one. How much? Uh, 99 cents. Are you kidding me right now? Dollar. Show me, show me, show me the butterfly. Oh yeah. Good job. Find some more of those. All right. I didn't really see anything else in the in the plate. She's down there checking out mugs. You finding anything? She's she's hunting. She's hunting while I'm over here looking through the glasses. Mm. There are so many glasses. And I feel like I'm like I got this pressure, like I gotta, I gotta hurry. So I'm really just looking for anything that jumps out at me because I know Noah is getting antsy to have his computer stuff that is in my car. So I'm trying to be a good mom and get done and get him his stuff and get her taken care of. Those are really cute, but uh, I, they're pretty new. I'm sure they came from, I mean, I have picked these up in the past, but I'm just not not into it tonight. So I'm not going to pick them up today. On a different day I might have. Let's go see if she's finding anything. Oh, I see a Yorkie. I see a 3D Yorkie mug for $1.99. We'll grab that. All right, let's see. You're the friend. Everyone wishes they had. Oh, I knew there had to be more to that. Okay, that's got a bad word on it. We can't look at that one. <laughs> this is pretty, but it doesn't have the set. Yeah, this is like Katani. I actually have that set. Oh. You didn't find anything else over here? No, I don't think so. No? All right, let's... I'm just going to give it a quick glance because you've been really good, so... I'm going to trust. This was made in England. World's Champion Rockhound. That's cute, but we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. All right, let's move on. It's a really pretty carved wood trunk with like birds carved into it. I don't think it's that old though. The wood just doesn't look that old. They're asking a hundred dollars on that. Ooh, doggies. All right, we're making a quick, quick run through some of the textiles. And I do mean quick run because I just need to, I just need to be done. 
My brain is not on shopping now. I'm worrying about Noah. All right. What else did I not? Oh, I didn't show this. I got this right as we walked in. It is um, Inarco, $3.99. Got that. And then I grabbed I grabbed this because Jordan's boyfriend smokes cigars, and it's a really nice leather cigar case. I didn't even look it up because you know for three bucks, one way or another, I'm gonna get it. And then I spot this. Oh my gosh! Look at this lamp. They're little soldier guys, like on a chessboard. Those are really cool, and the shade is like a map. It is ten bucks. I am gonna get that. Nice thing about bringing Rachel with me is she pushes the cart. I like that she pushes the cart. Okay, now you get to push the cart. Oh, now she's calling, making me push the cart. Okay, here's our little bounty we are gonna go check out. We got everything in the car. Well, a little disappointing. Those coasters didn't, the Longer Burger coasters didn't have a price on them. And I didn't even realize the guy got all done and he checked out and I paid. And then I saw them sitting there. He didn't get me a price to ring them up. Um, and then they wanted to charge like, uh, was it $2.99 or $3.99? Anyway, I was just like, you know what? It is not worth going through a whole nother credit card process for three and there was only three it was only three of the code had there been four we would have done it but there was only three so we left those behind and it's just one of those lessons um sometimes you just leave stuff behind super excited about that velvet painting though it is really nice and and really like a lot of the stuff we got is really nice and rachel's eye is just 
getting sharper and sharper and she's learning how to look things up super excited i have linked her new etsy store down in the description she's got to stock it still uh, but at least it's down there now so hopefully she starts getting some of these some of these things that she's buying into her etsy store hello sandy ego um, and we'll get her rocking and rolling in this crazy reselling life okay with that I have got to go and get Noah his computer stuff and get her dropped off and then get home. And now you go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>